Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at a Disney Store 5 pack. I believe this will be the first ever time I look at some Disney Store stuff um, on this channel. Um, I, I've had a, I actually used to have a lot of Disney Store cars, um, but I sold a, a good majority of them off because I didn't like them. Um, and I sort of got back into them, not like I'll go out and collect everyone, but um, to the point, it's just to the point where I think they're, I, I don't like care for them, but I think they're cool. So, um, I had some relatives in Disney World not too long ago, and they brought this back as a souvenir. So, um, these are actually the pullback versions, I believe. I don't think they make any, um, regular versions anymore. Like, uh, here's, yeah, here's an example, um, of Private Eye Mater, one of the ones I kept. Um, there's no pullback feature, whereas uh, all the ones that they do make nowadays uh, do have the pullback feature, sort of like this Tom Marcus I got um, at a consignment sale, uh, I think in 2019, where you just pull it back and it goes. So, um, I actually have no clue how to open this. I've never opened a Disney Store multi pack. Well, I have. Um, well, I have when I was very, very young. I believe this guy is exclusive to one of those, like, big old, like, 30 packs, which, uh, I mean, it wasn't obviously a 30 pack, but I have to imagine it costed a lot of money. This one was, I believe, around $40. Yeah, $40. Um, so let's open it up. It's actually too big for my normal desk. Um, and my normal desk has a lot of stuff on it, so. Um, recording with a little piece of, uh, tile, I guess you can sort of call it that, marble. Um, a lot of tape on this, so it might take a while. There is a scrapped video I did, um, in about February of 2020. I had a bunch of, uh, I had six Tomica cars, uh, from one of the waves that they sold in the United States. Um, and there's so much tape on them that, uh... It was like a 16 minute video of just me opening them, so that never made it out. I think I had a thumbnail for that one. Um, there's one more piece of tape up here. Let's see it at the top, right, top left of your screen, but it is in the middle of the box there. A lot of cardboard uh, strapped to that little piece right there, so not exactly sure how to get this piece off. Slowly coming on. Slowly coming on down. Yeah, this will be a while, but once we get this piece of tape off, we should just be able to open it up and uh, yeah, rip a piece off like that. This is some strong tape. There we go. There's a solid amount off. And there it goes. All right, so. That is through with, um, I think, well, there's another piece of tape up there, but I think this will open up, uh, open up from this side here, so, yeah, I'll just, yeah, that piece of tape can just go away, so, upside down, so, put that back over, and here we are. What do we have? Uh, I guess I haven't specified what's in the pack. Uh, it is all four of the original tuners plus um, an original Cars 1 Lightning McQueen. Uh, on the bottom, you can just, I, a lot of tape. Uh, so that's another thing. Well, this is a lot easier to. I've actually never worked with uh, these kinds of. Oh no. It's just the same as, okay, it's the same as the ones you sort of have with the ha haulers, just with uh, the Cars logo, which uh, I don't think you can see it, but right there you can see it. There you go. It's actually the Cars logo, um, which I, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, these are hard to turn. I actually hurt some of my fingers yesterday, so, oh. One of them's out, I guess. Shouldn't turn them all the way, so they don't just fall out like that one. This one on the far right is actually 
Now, oh, here's the queen, so I'll put him off to the side for now. I'll take a look at him first. I think um, we should. I think the tuners are much cooler, and they should all be sort of reviewed in in an order or something. The DJ's kind of loose. Uh, I have to turn them all the way like that. There we go. DJ is out. Snap rod. This one's kind of stuck in there. This is an experiment. Yeah, that piece of uh, cardboard is not going to move because it's poking out. And it's going to stop that piece from moving. That's unfortunate. These turn a different way. On Ringo, that's wild and wacky. That's one way to get stuff right out. Well, oh, I don't want to, I'm not gonna break the boost spoiler. Here you go, here's another close up of what the car's um, little pin things look like. Uh, you can see they actually have the logo imprinted on there. That's a pretty cool touch. There go, there's boost. Then Ringo. Ringo. This one is also in a weird situation because it was upside down. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. We tried to just pull them out. That'll work. Alright, so that's all of them. Let's start with McQueen. Of course, the classic uh, model. Not whole lot on the bottom, like um, usual old Disney store cars, uh, but does have that pullback action, um, which is not a thing I'm, uh, I understand. Of. Yeah, you can see when you pick it, when it has all it kinetic, en kinetic energy stored, um, it'll sort of not work. Like you still have to stop and then pick it up and it goes. Um, I don't know what to think about this one. I think the windows. You're sort of off-putting for me. Uh, you have this little dot, which I believe is supposed to be there. I mean, I know it is supposed to be there. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be, but the, the gray seems to be popping out a little bit too much. Um, has a nice expression. It's pretty solid. Um, it's actually a lot uh, lighter than the rest of the Disney Store cars, or the original Disney Store cars. Uh, solid. I like the detail, but... Um, Maybe my least favorite overall. Uh, let's go with DJ next. Here he is. Actually has a little error on his eye. Looks like the decal got put onto his eye a little bit as well, which uh, that's something I've not seen before. Um, he's also, he's like really light. He's lighter than the, all the other ones. The Queen's actually the heaviest out of all of them. Just picked them all up. Um, he also works. He doesn't go as fast. Um, he has the correct green. Uh, if you remember, in the early days um, of the uh, 155 line, uh, they did not have the correct like green. It was like I think it was a blue, and then they corrected it later on. Um, I don't. I don't believe they made that mistake on the. I don't know if they actually made a Disney Store version of. These guys back in the day, I have to assume they did, uh, but I don't know if there's like a database where you can look at all of the um, all the Disney Store cars like you can with uh, the Mattel cars. Um, got all the details of like, I think they just copied a sh or they just uh, stole the artwork from Pixar or not stole they obviously they obviously worked together to create them in Disney stores, of course, owned by Disney, so. Um, I'm guessing they used um, DJ's model from the movie to get all of these correct shots, um, or or I guess the details. Let's go with Snot Run next. He actually has some really tiny wheels up front. That's fun. Uh, sort of like a drag car. These pullbacks don't tend to work very well. Hmm. Um, this guy, he also has his, I like his expression, it's a fun one. Um, the eyes on all these are actually, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of them. Uh, Wingo, Snotrod, DJ, and McQueen all look alright, but Boost, uh, who I'll take a look at next, uh, they completely bombed on his. Uh, the green looks nice, I don't know exactly how accurate eye colors are, 
Um, I'm on the ground right now. I have to look up, see um, what color they are. And Snot Rod does appear to have sort of like a greenish, a oh, very light green. So this is more green than the, than the Mattel version, but uh, still not too far off, I guess. Um, all the normal details. Big engine. Um, I feel like the engine is thinner than it should be. And um, you can see there the engine bay. Um, I've actually never noticed the engine is not symmetrical, um, which I don't know if that's on purpose or not. I have to assume it is, because not only is it wrong, or is it sort of non-symmetrical on the engine, the engine little uh, bay, I don't know what you call that down there, is also not symmetrical. All right, here's Boost, you can obviously see. They did not do well in his eyes at all. He is a bright purple color in the movie. I think he's actually closer to a gray, um, but the uh, reflection off of the sky sort of makes them look purpler. Um, that's actually what happened with Leroy Traffic. The uh, original 2010 Final Lap uh, Snow Tires version has the correct color, whereas the normal one has a purple, which is basically a reflection of the midnight, or not the midnight, the uh, the dusk sky, the sunset. Um, got the N2O cola bottles. Actually, I don't think it's N2O cola, it's just N2O. Uh, you have, you can see them actually connected into his roof there, which I don't think is on the Mattel version. His spoiler is actually really bendy. Um, you can bend it up and down, back and forth. Uh, he also works as a pullback. That one actually works pretty well, so uh, that's good to see. All right, finally, we have the classic Wingo. Um, don't have the visor. I don't think, I don't know if they corrected uh, the visor thing uh, on his Blue Desert face. The mouthpiece looks awful on this one, honestly. It sticks out a lot. Um, the mustache is just not painted. Uh, I always have a few scratches on them. Uh, so this Wingo, not the best. The green and purple sort of meshing on the front splitter there, also messing me pretty up, <laughs> meshing me up pretty good. Um, the matte, also, the decals are like matte, the rest of the color is gloss, um, which is interesting. I think the, um, yeah, definitely the uh, front bumper is a different color than the decals on the rest of his body. Uh, I believe that the Mattel version did not have the decals on the side uh, of his uh, big old wing. That's a pretty nice touch. Uh, overall, I don't think they did a good job on that one. Uh, might be, might just be a one-off on how I did mine. Uh, but that is the that is that pack. Uh, I like it. I think it's an interesting choice. These characters never really met in the movie. I mean, they met Mac, but I think it's an interesting choice. It would have been. I think it would be would have been cooler to go with like uh, a Mac semi. Maybe they could go make a Leroy Traffic or one of those other cars. Maybe the police, one of the police officers. Uh, I guess Sheriff would an Sheriff actually did. Sheriff has actually um, been with them uh, in multiple multiple pieces of I guess cars media. I I use that word a lot when referring to like the tunes, books, uh, the movies, of course. I just refer to it as Cars Media, so uh, that's what I mean when I say that. Uh, all the movies and stuff. Uh, he 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 has them in the movie. He also has them in Tokyo Manga. They might have met at some point um, in some other books or something like that. But anyways, that is the end of today's video. A Disney Store pullback multi-pack. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Let's try to get them all at once.